In this module, we shall introduce cycles and transpositions. A permutation is a cycle if at most one of its orbit is non-trivial, has more than one element. A cycle of length 2 is called a transposition. We shall take the permutation alpha which is given as 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 4. And you can see that 2, 3, 1, 5, 4 are images under the action of alpha. Now you can see that when we act alpha, first time we shall get 1 goes to 2. And when second time we shall act 2 goes to 3. And when third time it acts, 3 goes to 1. And in this way, we shall get the first cycle 1, 2, 3. And uh, when alpha x on 4, first time we shall get 5. And when alpha act on 4, second time we shall get 5, 4, 2, 4. And in this way, we shall have the other cycle 4, 5. And you can see that these cycles are disjoint. There is no common element in these two cycles. Now we can write its transpositions. As you know that the permutation of length 2 is called transposition. Here uh, you can see that um, the cycle, the length of this cycle is 3 and the length of the second cycle is 2. Uh, in this way 4, 5 is already our transposition. We can transform the cycle 1, 2, 3 in the form of product of transpositions. In this manner, first we take the transposition 1, 3 and then we multiply it by 1, 2. And uh, as you know that permutation is a function and uh, we operate it from right to left. That's why we are taking 1, 2 from uh, right, at right side and then we are taking uh, the transposition 1, 3. And uh, if you multiply these transpositions, you can get the L uh, value of alpha. And uh, in the th uh, third uh, cycle, you can see the transposition 4, 5 as it is. And uh, you can see that when we multiply 1, 3 transposition with 1, 2 transposition, uh, we shall get 1, 2, 3. And uh, we shall multiply from right to left order. Uh, 1 goes to 2. And uh, here in 1, 3 transposition, you can see that 2 goes to 2. So we have 1 goes to 2. And uh, uh, then 2 goes to 1 because we have just uh, uh, two elements in the cycle. 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1. And uh, uh, here you can see that uh, 1 goes to 3. And the composition is 2 goes to 3. And uh, in this manner you can see that we shall get the uh, cycle 1, 2, 3. And uh, if you want to see that 3 goes to 1, then uh, you can see that in the, first, uh, in the first transposition, 3 goes to 3, 3 is fixed. And uh, in the uh, uh, second transposition, that is 1, 3, 3 goes to 1. So 3 goes to 1 as a composition. 
uh, and uh, in the cycle you can see that 3 goes to 1 in cycle 1 to 3. Composition in cycle notation. Here we are taking two uh, cycles, uh, three cycles, alpha and beta are permutations. Alpha permutation is written as 1, 2, 3 and beta is written as product of two cycles of length 2 that is 1, 2 and 3, 4. And as uh, we have seen in the previous slide, we shall multi uh, act the permutations from right to left. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, 3 goes to 4 in the last permutation. Uh, we shall start with say 1. And you can see that uh, 1 and 2 are fixed in the last permutation 3, 4. That is 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 3 in the last permutation 3, 4. And uh, from here we shall get 1 goes to 1 in the last permutation and uh, in the second last permutation we have 1 goes to 2. So 1 goes to 2 and 2 goes to 3 and we shall get 1 goes to 3. And uh, then we shall again operate uh, for 2 uh, 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 to which element 2 is going. Uh, in the last permutation 2 is fixed, 2 goes to 2, in the second last 2 goes to 1 and uh, uh, 2 goes to 1 and uh, in the first one 2 goes to 3, uh, 1 goes to 2, one, uh, so uh, we have 2 goes to 2 and we shall get this and now we shall see the image of 3 in the last permutation 3 goes to 4 and in second last 4 is fixed 4 goes to 4 and uh, here is also 4 is fixed so we shall get 3 goes to 4 in this way we have 1 3 4 and uh, finally uh, in the last permutation we have 4 goes to 4 in the second last uh, sorry 4 goes to 3 and in the second last we have uh, 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 3 goes to 3 because uh, we have image of 4 under um, operation 3 and uh, in the second last we have to see the 3 3 goes to 3 and uh, uh, in the first one 3 goes to 1. So uh, we have 4 goes to 1 and we have completed the cycle in this way 1, 3, 4. And uh, uh, as you know that 2 is fixed, we can neglect it and we shall get 1, 3, 4. Alpha into beta equal to 1, 3, 4. And here you can see the notation we have uh, skipping the commas. Uh, you can use this notation for the sake of simplicity. Now we compute beta alpha in the similar manner and you can see that we write beta first 1, 2, 3, 4 and alpha uh, secondly 1, 2, 3 and we can uh, we shall up act the permutations from right to left. And you can see that in the last permutation 1, 2, 3, 1 goes to 2 and uh, 2 is fixed in the second last permutation and uh, in the first permutation 2 goes to 1. So in this manner we shall get 1 goes to 1 and we shall have written this in this manner. And then in the last permutation 2 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 4 and uh, 4 is fixed in the first permutation so 2 goes to 4 and we shall write this 2 go goes to 4 and then 3 goes to 1 in the last permutation you can see and uh, uh, in the second last 1 goes to 1, 1 is fixed and 1 goes to 2 in the first permutation. So we have 
थ्री गोज टू टू एंड यू कैन सी इन दिस मैनर थ्री गोज टू टू एंड नो वी हैव टू सी डेट द इमेज ऑफ फोर अंडर द एक्शन सो इन द लास्ट प्रमोटेशन यू कैन सी डेट फोर इज फिक्स फोर गोज टू फोर and in the second last you can see that 4 goes to 3 and uh, in the first permutation 3 is fixed 3 goes to 3 so ultimately we have 4 goes to 3 so in this way we have uh, one cycle 2 4 3 beta alpha equal to 2 4 3